Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering one of the PySpark interview question that is recently asked in a gray matter interview. Given as the input data frame, we have column one, column two, column three. If we look into the records, in column one, we have one, two, null. So we need to find out the null count in each and every column. In column one, we have one null value. So we need to get a count as one. Similarly, in column two, we have two null values. We need to get a count as two. In column three, we have one null value. We need to get a count as one. In this way, wherever we have nulls, we need to get the null count for each and every column. So let's see how we can solve this by using a PySpark code. We are on a database environment. We have a data frame available with all the three columns, column one, column two, column three. We'll see a step-by-step -step how we can solve this to get the null count for each and every column. Okay. So the first thing, uh, maybe I will take a, any a single column. We will see how we can find out nulls in this column. So to do that, I will be taking the data frame. So right now this is the DF. So I will be taking this data frame. I will select any one column. So maybe I will take a column one. Okay. So we will select one column here. Okay. Column one. Okay. So I will, I want to find out nulls. So using here is null. So it will check if this column one is having a nulls or not. I will be displaying it, okay? And before we display it, we need to import this function col. So by using a PySpark, we can import it. So in this way, we can import column, okay? Now if I execute this, we can get the nulls if this column is having a nulls or not. Okay, let's, let's run this. Now you can see wherever we have null value available, it will give true. If there is a no null value, it will give false. Okay, you can clearly see here, there are two records with some values, but there is a one record with null. So wherever we have null, we are having a uh, output as a true and wherever we don't have null, it is giving as a false. Okay, so as I want to find out the sum of null values in each and every column as I want to do a sum maybe I will be converting into integer so I will cast it to integer so that I will get the answer as a 1 or 0 so if it is a true we'll get a 1 if it is a false we'll get a 0 so I'll be casting it as an integer now if I execute it we can see so wherever we have null wherever it is a true it is giving 1 wherever we have a false, wherever we don't have a nulls, it is giving a zero. In the same way, we can find out a dissimilar kind of output for all the columns. And then on top of the column, uh, we can do a sum to calculate the null count for each and every column. So to do that, we can do a looping. So before looping, uh, let me show you how we can take the column names. So this is the data frame. Simply we can take df.columns. Now if I execute it, we can see it is giving a list of columns, column one, column two, column three. So I will be doing a for loop. I will loop the one by one column and I will give you here dynamically. So instead of taking the any one value, any one column manually, uh, we can take these columns dynamically one by one through looping and we can give it here. Okay. So let's write that. Maybe I will remove the display. We'll have here for loop. Same thing. So df dot columns. So it will give column one, column two, column three. Okay. So all the three columns will come. It will be given to variables here. So one by one value will come from here. It will go here. So this will be a C. So column one will come from here, it will go here. Similarly, column two will loop it, it will come here. Similarly, column three will come to loop here. For each and every column, it will check if there is a nulls in that column or not. So if there is a nulls, it will try to cast an integer. So we'll get this value. On top of this, we can use a sum to calculate a sum for each and every column, okay? So we should start here. We should start the bracket here and we should close the bracket here. 
okay and also we need to perform some so on top of it we also need to perform some so we'll be taking here some okay so in this way we can write a query now if execute this one so we are getting a sum for each and every column let me display this as well now we can see for each and every column we are getting the count of nulls okay but the name has not changed to change the name we can use alias here i will give here alias of c okay c in the sense for column one so we'll get column one here the respect to count will come similarly column two respect to column two count will get similarly column three respect to count will get there now if i execute this one now see column one count is one column two count is two column three count is one in this way we'll get the expected output so by giving a df dot column we'll get all the column names so by using a for loop we'll give the column one by one inside we'll find out if the column is having a null values or not if there is a null values available we are calculating a sum on top of it okay Similar kind of question is also asked in a SQL in one of the interview. So if you know the query, please post in the comment box. And if you have any other alternate approach using a PySpark code, that also you can post in the comment box. That's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of interview questions and answers.